And we're just gonna die. We're all just gonna die soon. Or not soon, <laughs> maybe. But what if this is your last year? What would you do then? And I asked myself the question, what would it look like if I live one year as if this year might actually be my last year? I don't know why I've got these ideas and questions, but I need to just like live these questions and see what comes from it. And that is my human experience. What makes us all human? Mm. I think the little voices in our head. Every human has these little conversations with themselves. Sometimes very good chats, sometimes very destructive bad thoughts. When the mind gets so overwhelmed and cluttered, you're so absorbed into what's happening in your emotions and, and it's difficult to take your mind outside of yourself. Then I decided I will build myself a personal kind of safe space that I can retire to when I feel overwhelmed. This place has brought so much to me in that space of being uncertain and not knowing what to do. So this was a big medicine, I guess, like a healer in a way. Maybe I've learned through my 38 years that I can get most out of this, my life, my being, when I'm in a space where I feel light. And the thing that makes me feel light easiest is when I am kind and sympathetic to myself, my situation. When I really felt the need to be extra kind to myself is when I was in the darkest spaces, going through a, a divorce. My life was quite intertwined. We, we as a couple were very intertwined. The more attached you are to something, when that gets taken away, that is where the pain comes. That is where it's like a deep fear of loss. Your identity or your structure that you have built around you, that you see that that's also not, it's not as um, fuss as you thought it would be. You have to almost rebuild a new identity if you go through like a, a big shift in your life. That almost forces me to ask myself honestly, who are you and what, what do you want to do with your time that you're alive? What does life look like 
if I am in tune with that raw essence of Jeremy. What do you know is definitely true about you? What is not just scripts and patterns that you've added or the society or yourself molded into? If I strip everything, that's the one part that I'm not willing to let go of. That's the one part that I want to have with me until the day that I die and feel like I've been true to that essence. If I can be strong enough in myself to put the authentic me out there and if it's accepted then I just feel that love but if it's not accepted I can also just like deal with the little uncomfortability and pain that that maybe brings but know that I don't have to to take that on to myself. It is a space that has a lot of potential to also hurt. Because you're vulnerable. I mean, I'm so fortunate that I stay now in such an amazing nature space. For me, this is ways to really sit with pain, to not like suppress it, but rather find an environment where the pain or the heaviness gets neutralized. And for me, a lot of times that is nature. It's not all people that have this. There was a time that I almost felt like guilty about having things and that actually led me to not using it and if I don't use that am I really honoring my privilege in a way for me it does so much good if I can just like be in a space outside and connect to the basic sensations that surround me. It grounds me, but it makes me feel small. There's like this awe happening and there's something said for that feeling. I feel small and actually very vulnerable, but also very safe because I actually feel part of everything. If I had to die now, man, I had a good year. Like, I still worked and I still like uh, planned and processed and had very difficult times, like very difficult times, but it just feels like that's so part of it. Because I think pain is a, it shows you so much. Pain shows what could still be healed or what is in there. Pain and pleasure both has amazing ability to guide you to really understand who this essence are that I am seeking. The full picture of my inner being. I don't want to take pain away. My hope is to rather just see the bigger picture. These are all together, like pain, pleasure, life and death. It's just like it needs to be there somehow. Thank you pain, thank you pleasure, thank you life, thank you death.
Thanks to all of you who helped make this film possible. All of our films are totally crowdfunded. So if you'd like to continue to support us on our journey, check out our Green Renaissance page on Patreon.